Hello, this is Mel Thompson, and this is a podcast in a series of podcasts about political risk. Today, we're going to be discussing trade with Canada. Now, the question that needs to be asked is, can the new administration of Donald Trump and Canada's Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, come to find common ground? This is an important question, given the uncertainty as to NAFTA and how the Trump administration will proceed. Renegotiations that are unfavorable to Canada are unlikely. No matter the rhetoric of Trump, the United States and Canada will continue to have good relations on a host of issues including trade. The lack of experience within the Trump administration is also less of a concern when one considers that many career diplomats will be tasked with maintaining good relations. Understandably, many are concerned whenever there is a change in administrations. However, the relationship with Canada has always been less political and more matter-of-fact. This familiarity lowers political risks, that are associated with other nations such as Mexico, which finds itself in the crosshairs of xenophobic rhetoric that may, in the end, slow but not destroy cross-border trade. Canada, unlike our NAFTA partner to the South, was not the target of political attacks for over a year, nor has it been the source of cross-border migration that has been viewed unfavorably, yet known to be necessary for economic well-being. The overall political risk is very low when viewed through the relationship between the United States and Canada. It's clearly much more problematic with Mexico, but even that relationship will eventually survive the politics of the moment. Cross-border trade has been the stabilizing force of the economic relationship between the U.S. and Canada for more centuries than are necessary to relate in a blog post. It is the will and overall good feelings, the will to be one continent, the will to be neighbors and work together on trade that will overcome the rhetoric and the political uncertainty at this time to lower political risk between Canada and the United States when it comes to trade. This has been Mel Thompson.